Hello everyone, what's up? In tonight's video I'm going to share my thoughts and those of my Discord community members on whether or not 3D printing may be the future for the Horus Heresy community. Is 3D printing the future of 30k? Well, you could argue in fact that 3D printing is probably the future of any miniatures based war game. But I think Horus Heresy gamers are likely to make that transition sooner than others. There are several factors to this. Firstly, there's the fact that there are a lot of Forgeful miniatures and bits out of production. This has already made heresy players and collectors look for alternatives. Secondly, there's the inescapable reality that, particularly for those of us who aren't UK based, Forge World's prices have become prohibitive in some cases. But most crucially, in my opinion, heresy gamers are both more accepting of things like third party models and more demanding in terms of conversions or customizations. Most of us want to make our armies truly unique. To my mind, this is bound to result in more and more 30k players exploring avenues like Anvil Industries 3D designs. You all know my love and indeed nostalgia for the golden years of the Horus Heresy, which I would say were in between the initial release in 2012 and the release of Book 5 in 2015. This has not changed at all for me and it's not gonna change. However, I have been really impressed by some of the designs that have come out in the last few months from companies like Anvil Industry, Maker's Cult, That Evil One, or Grim Prince. And personally, I can't wait to add some of them to my own collections. Is that a bad thing for our community? I really don't think so, but I asked the guys in my Discord community to answer a few questions about this. Now, I'm not gonna claim that this has any sort of statistical relevance, I know that, but given that the respondents are all experienced 30k gamers and hobbyists from all over the world, I think it is important to take their voice into account. One of the key questions that I asked was whether or not they would frown at someone playing with 3D printed models, and not just something like terrain, there's a difference there. The overwhelming majority stated that they wouldn't mind at all so long as the minis fit with the heresy aesthetic. The rest said they would never judge an opponent for their miniatures. In other words, not a single person responded that yes, they would frown at this. But wait, this doesn't sound at all like the famous gatekeeping that we 30k players are routinely accused of. Now does it? Food for thought, I think. Another interesting question was which 30k faction they would most like to see more 3D designs for. The number one choice was Militia, closely followed by Mechanicum. This was a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest. I also asked about which historical settings they would like to see explored through 3D printing. And in that case the victor was a Great Crusade, followed by the Unification Wars my personal favorite. There were of course quite a few other questions, but the thing that will interest you the most, I think, is the comments made by the respondents. When I asked them to summarize their thoughts on the effect that they thought 3D printing might have on the Horus Heresy community and the future of the game. Now for some quotes. Some people seemed concerned about the negative effects which 3D printing could have. For example, one person stated, it will be a mixed blessing. There will be more cool models, but the hobby and the community will fragment without Forge World. Another one said, More options is good for the community, but I hope it doesn't have a deleterious effect on Forge World and Games Workshop as a whole. A second group of respondents focused on the freedom that 3D printing gives us as modelers. For example, one person stated that access to 3D printed miniatures enhances the lore and gives greater customization for Horus Heresy hobbyists. And similarly, another one concluded that they will help keep the setting alive and increase the uniqueness of games and displays. A third group yet was more definitive in their support of 3D printing. In this vein, one person remarked that within a few years, I believe a 3D printer will be a tool viewed as on par with the airbrush in importance, especially as it offers not just printing of unique models, but infinite conversion potential. The response that struck me the most, however, was this one. It is likely that if Forgeworld does not seriously invest in the heresy again, 3D prints will become for the models what the Mornival is to the rules. Interesting, don't you think? So going back to the original question, what do I think? Well, I agree with all of these views to some extent. I can definitely understand the fears, but I must say that I identify the most with that last respondent. Personally, I think that the greatest asset that the Horse Heresy has, as Matt Murphy Kane himself explained, is the 30k community itself. 
Things like the renaissance of Battlefield Gothic or the amazing 30k supplements and rules created by groups like Australis Ultima 30k or King Fluff are testament to what the fans can do by themselves. To my mind, 3D printing can become the physical extension of that. As someone who only last year spent several thousand euros in Forge World models, I can definitely say that I'm not saying that because I want the cheapest possible route for my hobby. It is primarily a matter of uniqueness and customization possibilities for me. Therefore, in coming weeks and months, I will be publishing more video content on 3D models covering the efforts of companies like Anvil Industry, That Evil Guy, Grim Prince or Maker's Cult, all of which are putting out great quality designs which I consider aesthetically fitting for the 30k setting. This is a bit of a rare video for me in that I don't normally ramble about my own views on things and I have deliberately avoided controversy until now, but I really think this topic requires further open discussion in the community. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all and remember, keep it up and weather it out.